Imagine if you were suddenly unable to close your mouth. Well, that's the nightmare Brandy was living when we sent her to board certified dentist, Dr. Sid Solomon, for an evaluation. Tell me what brings you here, Brandy. A little over a year ago, I noticed I couldn't close my mouth. Now there's a huge gap between my upper and lower teeth. And so I was really alarmed. And what is your most pain? Um, my jaw, my left side, doesn't ever stop hurting. In the afternoons, I'll start to get a headache. Where do you get most of your headaches? Um, the base of my neck. Does that really radiate on your forehead or on your temporalis muscles? Uh, my forehead and my temples. What about eating? Chewing is very difficult and I get tired a lot. Usually before the meal is over, my jaw is too tired to eat anymore. Okay, Brandy, let me do some examinations and then we're gonna run some tests. Right now, when you bite down, the only four teeth that touch is like back okay. in here. Everything else is just open. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and clench for me. Bite, bite all the way. We're gonna go ahead and open as wide as we can, slowly, and close. Well, Brandy and Dr. Solomon both join us. And Brandy, you were just telling me Right now, you have a headache I from do. this. I do. My head is pounding. And you've been dealing with that for how long now? A year. A year. You've been going through quite a process with us. Didn't you recently have surgery? And... Yeah, my jaw locked closed. I woke up, and I couldn't unlock my jaw. And it was like that for two weeks. And then I had surgery. And the oral surgeon didn't tell me this until after the surgery. But I have pain when I open my mouth, and he said that will probably never go away. Had you dislocated your TMJ? Mm -mm, no. So it just it, it would locked. just lock. So pretty oh. much for two weeks you couldn't eat. Mm -mm. You couldn't drink anything. Well, I have um, the gap in my teeth, so I was able to stuff food in it in my mouth that way. But if I, I guess if I didn't have the gap, then I wouldn't be able to eat. Did you lose any weight? I wish. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> well, really, you know, really quickly, you know, it's, it is important to note that if you suddenly can't close your mouth, uh, 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 and it can even happen just from a, a big time laughing episode, you can dislocate that joint and need to get it replaced or, or, or relocated. But in this case, Dr. Salman, what, what is your diagnosis? She's suffering from uh, temporomandibular disorder, uh, commonly known as TMJ. Most people know about that. Uh, the symptoms are like uh, headaches, migraines, tightness of the shoulders, clenching, uh, grinding and popping and clicking of the jaw joints. So what, what do you do now? What do you do with, with uh, a case like this that has been recalcitrant to treatment? You know, uh, Brandy has a mouthpiece uh, that was made by another doctor. And uh, once I saw this, uh, you can go ahead and put it in your mouth if you wish. Uh, I have never seen in 26 years wow. anything like this. It's so big. And, and basically what? what it does, it will make her jaw oh. stay even more open. So definitely it will take her out of range of motions. This is a device that is called orthosis. And orthosis is very thin and customized. And what it does with the technology that we have, we can find the correct position of your jaw joint. And Brandy, I want to tell you today that I have the solution for you in my hands and I can cure you out of all these symptoms that you have by making a simple device that is called orthosis. That's amazing. <laughs> and you, you know, you've talked about this before on our show and we've seen some remarkable changes in individuals once they get the right mouthpiece in place. But, but we wanted to make sure that everyone out there understands these disorders of, of the temporomandibular joint, you don't just want to go see anyone. You really want to go to a specialist, someone who deals with this, because you can make it worse if you get the wrong mouthpiece. And if they give you a guard. mouthpiece and it ends up hurting you more than the yep. situation did, then you have a problem, too. Brandy, here's the good news. We think you are on the road to recovery. Dr. Solomon, thank you. Thank you. Brandy, best of luck. Keep us posted.